Heliodyne systems are designed using the Pressure Stagnation Protection, or PSP, method. The PSP method is a mode of operation for closed-loop pressurized systems and protects against glycol breakdown and hardware damage by ensuring that the solar fluid never flashes to steam. When fluid transitions from liquid to steam, the associated pressure transients cause water hammer shocks, dramatically increasing wear and tear on pipe joints and soldered connections, increasing chances of leaks in the future. If using a glycol water mixture or other type of inhibitors mixed within the fluid water to prevent freezing, these phase transfers from liquid to vapor also break down the inhibitor chemicals, which over time disintegrates the inhibitors into insoluble substances which may jam the collector loop. The breakdown of the glycol also causes the fluid pH to decrease, which can eat away at pipes and fittings, further increasing the possibility of a future leak. Therefore, if a closed loop system pressure is kept above the vapor transition pressure at all times, the operational lifetime of both the operating fluid and the hardware itself is increased dramatically. To ensure correct operation within the PSP method, the system must be designed to allow operating temperatures and pressures up to and including stagnation times when the temperatures are at their extremes. The stagnation temperature of a non-loaded collector rises over time until it hits an equalization limit called the steady state stagnation temperature. This exact temperature is dependent upon the performance factors of the collector absorber, the ambient air temperature around the collector, and the amount of solar radiation on the absorber plate. In most areas of the United States, the peak solar radiation is within the range of 800 to 1000 watts per square meter, which corresponds to a steady state stagnation temperature of around 300 degrees Fahrenheit. To properly use the PSP method as a form of stagnation protection, you must properly size your expansion tank to allow for controlled system pressure behavior, use HD high temperature glycol, and allow normal system operation at pressures up to 150 PSI. Expansion tanks are sized according to the total volume of fluid within the solar loop. A typical thumb rule in residential systems is to use 17 to 19 percent of total system volume for your expansion tank volume. For commercial systems in particular, the height of the solar collectors above the expansion tank can change the operational pressure of the collectors and plays a significant role in the system's ability to handle stagnation. This chart, also found in the Heliodyne HCOM manual, can be used to help determine expansion tank size. For example, if the collectors are 50 feet above the expansion tank, then the expansion tank should be sized to allow 25 gallons for every 100 gallons of total system volume, or 25%. This chart will also be used in the installation process to help determine initial fill pressure according to collector height and fluid temperature. For systems with height differences greater than 100 feet, please contact Heliodyne or your solar design engineer for further guidance. HD glycol solution is specifically made for use in copper pipes. HD glycol is rated for high temperature use up to 325 degrees Fahrenheit continuous usage and 375 degrees Fahrenheit for periodic usage. Heliodyne Gobi collectors and heat exchanger units are factory pressure tested at 300 PSI to ensure all of our components can be operated at the 150 PSI limit necessary for the PSP method of protection. To recap, the PSP method hinges upon proper expansion tank sizing, the use of HD glycol, and an operational range up to 150 PSI. The following graph illustrates how to keep the solar fluid within liquid form. For this example, we will look at the stagnation temperatures for an ambient air temperature of 80 degrees, a 50 degree HD glycol water mixture, and any insulation value. The dotted line at the top of the graph represents the system pressure relief valve set point. 
With an expansion tank undersized by 20% of nominal value, the pressure relief will open at a temperature of 325 degrees. Oversizing the expansion tank by 20% of nominal value will cause the fluid to flash to steam at approximately 300 degrees. If the expansion tank is sized at nominal value, the system pressure will increase within operating limits and ensure system pressure is always above the vapor transition pressure, even at stagnation periods. In summary, when closed loop pressurized systems follow the PSP method of operation, you are able to decrease the thermal stresses of the system greatly extend the lifetime of the glycol fluid and can allow for years of operation without worry of damage to the collectors, glycol liquid, or other hardware components.